nagbabalik po ang Good Morning Kuya. At syempre, tuloy-tuloy ang ating public service dito. Umagang-umaga, pero gising na gising po kami lahat. At nakapang 80s kami. Pero kami ay magbibigay muna sa inyo ng mga impormasyon na dapat ninyong malaman. At isa po yan ay tungkol sa kalusugan. At kasama natin ngayon si Rina pa nahahalili kay Lola Lynn Perez, di ba? Buti na lang, hindi mo ko tinawag na Lola. Patay ka sa akin. <laughs> Orin, sino ang iyong kasama dyan? Ayan, mga kasama ko po ngayon mga kasambay, si Dr. Jack Alexander Harry ng ating developmental pediatrician. Ayan, good morning, good morning po para pag-usapan natin ngayon mga kasambay ang ata ang ADHD. Okay. Di ba? Ano po ba ang ADHD? Kasi kahapon may guest naman kami, um, tinakal naman namin about autism naman. So ano okay. po ba yung difference? Well, when we talk about ADHD, kadalasan inisip na mga magulang yun, mga batang malilikot, nahirapan sa school na makinig o kaya very distracted. Actually, combination naman to. So there are people who have difficulty focusing their their concentration nga pag sa school o sa bahay. Yung iba, yung mga mas matanda, iniya sila masadong hyper. Pero all in all, it's all about inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsive behavior. Ano po ba yung mga causes ng ADHD? Well, pag ADHD naman, kadalasan, lahat naman yata tayo may potential na magkaroon ng konting likot, konting mm -hmm. distractions. Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, for children with ADHD, siguro, they have a harder time uh, controlling themselves na alam mong kailangan mong tumutok, hindi eh, mas maganda yata tignan yung isa. So, mga hindi attention ka talaga, seekers no? ba yan? Mga Not necessarily ADHD, attention um, seekers in itself, mm. pero... That could be also because sobrang impulsive nila. Gusto nila gawin yung gusto nila eh. eh gusto nilang tumayo mm -mm. sa class o kaya sumigaw bigla. Eh, nagkakataon nga na kinapansin sila. Eh, nagugustuhan rin nila. O di game nila ulit. Mm -mm. Diba? At what age po natin nalalaman na ADHD yung bata? Or well, usually... Tayo? Sige, so let's mm -mm. say mga babies, yes. as they grow older, mm -mm. sometimes usually 2-3 years old, napapansin natin medyo malikot. Pwede okay lang yan, mm -mm. di ba? Uh, but I guess yung pinaka-defining factor ng ADHD is kung nakaka-apekto na siya sa buhay mo, bumabagsak like, ka na, para okay. tinakikipag-away. Clumsiness ba? Para Clumsiness yes. to some extent kasi ah, hindi yes. ka talaga nag... Wala, hindi ka, hindi ka careful okay. and you don't really take a look at mm -mm, your surroundings. Mm -mm. Yun. So ADHD, sabihin na lang natin, lahat tayo malikot pero kung hindi naman nakaka-apekto sa buhay natin that much, maybe we will not fit yung diagnosis. Saka yung shorter attention span, considered ba yun ADHD? Layo parang ito yung topic mo, tapos biglang panibagong topic. Ganun, well, yung ano naman, ginagawa. pag shorter attention span, mm. like I said, as long as uh, pang, hindi siya pang matagalan mm. na na-affect ka na nun, mm. and hindi talaga na-affect yung buhay mo in such a way na nadadali ka na parate, Maybe you just really need to practice focusing more. No po. Pero kung kahit na lahat na ginawa mo, yung mga magulang mo, eh talagang tinututukan ka na and then mm -mm. nagkakaproblema pa rin tayo, that's the time na kailangan siguro magpatingin. <coughs> Doc Jack, may mga iba't ibang klase ba tayo ng ADHD? Sure. Uh, when you talk about ADHD, you think about three types. Well, mm. two types. One is inattentive. So pwedeng hindi ka masyadong hyper, pero sa school... Sabog ka talaga. Nakakalimutan mo parating mga lapis mo sa bahay. Uh -huh. uh, hindi mo natatapos ang assignment mo. Mm -hmm. Tinatamad ka talaga magtapos ng mga writing assignments. Diba? Mm -hmm. Tinatamad magsulat. I hear mm -hmm. that a lot. And then the second type of ADHD is hyperactivity and impulsivity. Which means you, you act before you think. Or sometimes you just really cannot... Uh, Stay put in one place. Talaga, yes. Impulsiveness uh -oh. talaga. Mm -mm. You, you cannot be close in a box. Parang ganun. Right. Diba? But, Saka nakikita rin yun sometimes. Sinasabi nila parang sa career ng isang tao. Pag hindi mo kaya ma-stock mas, mas sa isang job lang. Parang ganun. May yes. sinasabi silang ganun. Diba? Minsan, right. Yes. Pag tumatanda, sometimes nakikita mo rin sila job hopping. Mm, yes. Every so often, nababore. Nakikick out kasi parating may ginagawang infractions. Mm -mm. Things like that. But most people, actually, yung dalawang types, you see bits and pieces of both types sa most people. So overall po, ano po yung symptoms ng ADHD? Okay. So ADHD, let, pediatrician ako, so let's talk about it mm. in terms of a child. Yes, yes po. So for the school-aged child, ano ba nakikita mo? Pwedeng you see them uh, very inattentive. They dreaming, not mm. paying attention. Or sometimes they are paying attention, pero hirap din sila mag-connect. Mm -mm. Okay? Two, they could be very restless. Uh, three, Uh, they really cannot take uh, the instructions based on sequence. Narinig nila, pinaulit mo, ha? Ano yun? Nakalimutan, Nakalimutan ko eh. Nakalimutan na agad, yes. Kung kailangan may effort, minsan, hirap si sila. Uh, anong ginawa mo nung Pasko? Ay, mahirap yan? Mm -mm. O, eh, di ko alam. Mm -mm. Di ba napaka, eh, kailangan nila mag-isip eh. Yes. Ay, ay, ayaw nilang gawin yun. Yes. Um, some are very talkative. 
So even if they know they're supposed to be seated, hindi pwede. Uh, daldal sila ng daldal. Uh, when we move into hyperactivity and impulsivity, ayan. Yan yung mga tipong nag-uusap pang magulang. Ma! Ma! Sandali lang, kaos na pa kita. Hindi, yung kailangan oh, sumabat yes, talaga. Yes. Uh, pwedeng sa school, sila yung mga playful. Mm -hmm. Alam mo na, kailangang umupo. Sila yung nandaloka ng mga ibang Going classmates. Around, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, ito really thinking, uh, not really thinking before acting. You see yes, this. Yes. So, as a child grows older, nahihirapan siya. Bakit? Nagti-teenager, naging impulsive. Nagsiskip ng school, mm -hmm. nakikipag-away, getting into uh, relationships which may or may not be mm -hmm. correct at mm -hmm. the time. And then also, yun, getting into a lot of trouble. Yes. Of course. Mm. Doc, kasi before, kasi therapist din ako, di ba? Tapos may na-handle din ako mga ADHD na bata. Ang ginagawa sa kanila ng parents nila, they put it to a game gym. Game gym yung tawag sa amin before. Tapos ang ginagawa namin is parang pinapagod namin yung mga bata. Kasi parang yun yung goal ng mga mommies para mapagod sila. Para at the end of the day, they can just sleep. Or sometimes may ini-inject sa kanilang mga ano, di ba? Okay. Mga medicines for them para hindi makatulog agad. Kasi di ba sobrang hindi sila na mabilis makatulog. May mga behavioral therapy ba? Okay. For ADHD kids. Um, even if your child is not in a therapy center mm. or undergoing any therapy, the basic uh, way to deal with ADHD is what? Good habits. Mm. Which means, hindi naman sa papagurin mo. But at the same time, you also have to teach them what they should be doing for the day. Mm. How to structure their, you know, my schedule sila dapat. O kaya, are you sticking to your schedule? My rules ka talaga. May purusa pa kung may purusa. Mm. Pero may... May, ano tawag doon? May incentives din mm -hmm. for good behavior. Mm -hmm. Ideally, that's the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. If you feel na kung ang magulang, ginagawa na nila yan, medyo nahihirapan pa, then that's when you seek talaga na mag-professional What help. about food and tech? Nakaka-apekto ba yan sa ADHD kids? Very like, Kasi may mga, uh, mga food na talagang nagpapa-hyperactive sa'yo, diba? Well, there are a lot of conflicting studies for that. And mm -hmm. without, you know, contradicting everybody, I will just say na lahat naman ng bagay, in moderation lang. Mm -hmm. Diba? Hindi naman tayo iinim ng sangkatutak. Yes. Oh, so the same way for kids, if parents do not feel comfortable giving a certain type of food, hindi na ako makikipag-away doon, yes. then they just limit it. Mm -mm. Pag birthday, sige, may konting bonus. Mm -mm. Pag wala hindi naman, special occasions, keep it under wraps. Yun lang naman yun eh. And talk your message naman for the mommies or probably the teachers also in school. Na kawanyari, alam na nilang ADHD yung students nila, di ba? How to handle them? Well, the best way to handle them, first of all, for parents and teachers is if you feel that your child has some issues that need to be addressed, the best way is if things are not working out at home or at school, magpatingin muna kayo. Wala namang mawawala sa kanila. Eh. Yes. It's not something na automatic salbahe ang mga bata, but mm -hmm. maybe they just really need some help. Mm -hmm. And if you seek help and then you, you are being given good advice and then you can apply it at home, the sooner your problems will be a little bit better. Hindi naman automatic yun eh. All right. Alright, maraming salamat po. Yan po si Dr. Jack Alexander Harry ng ating developmental pediatrician.